in this video we will see how a bus can be constructed so a communication bus can be constructed in two ways one is using multiplexes and another one is using three state bus buses first we will see using multiplexes so let us see these are all the registers first i will explain this picture then we will come to this point let us consider we have four registers so a b c d Okay, each have its. Uh, we let us consider this will store four bit of information, right? So A zero, A one, A two, and A three. Same way we name this register as B. So B zero, B one, B two, B three, etc. Okay, respectively. Now we need four multiplexers for this four bit transfer. Okay, so how many bits are there in each register? that much multiplexer we need so let us see how the data is getting transferred each multiplex this is a 4 by 1 multiplexer okay and we need four 4 by 1 multiplexer if it is an 8 bit then we need 8 by 1 multiplexer okay so we know uh, in a multiplexer there will be many input and only one output will be there right now we, along with this uh, input from the registers it has two more uh, it has more additional uh, inputs called select lines okay here since we have only four bit of information so this four bit of information can be selected by two two power two that is two select lines okay so uh, already we know that logic two power two is equal to four so here four registers are there not only really that in each register we have four bit so the input to this is four bit only so uh, in order to select which uh, input the multiplexer will take it as a uh, will consider and that output it will send so in order to do that we need two select lines right so this will give uh, so 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 So when zero zero, when both lines are zero zero, what will happen? The input from the first bit will be taken. When here zero zero is given, this zero zero goes here. Here also it goes there. The same line, same input goes to all the multiplexers. Okay, in which case it select this bit. Whereas this is nothing but from register A. See here, only the last bit connection is given. But if you take this is connected to this, and this is connected to this, and so on. Okay. So now, if you see this, uh, here we have the, uh, the first bit goes to the first multiplexer, second bit of A go to the second multiplexer. So, so when you select zero zero, the first this zero will be selected, which means uh, the input from the register A is selected. That's the meaning. now this will go in this as an output and in all these lines here you will have a0 okay here a0 here a1 here a2 and a3 so it's like that now Uh, so when uh, depending upon the select line, the respective registers are taken. Say for example, this is zero one. S not is zero, uh, and this is one means the B registers will be selected. The input from this. So this B not is given like this. So the second, sorry, is here. So the second bit, right, of each. register each multiplexer will be taken and that input will come here which means the data from the register b will be uh, displayed on this line which in turn can be given to a register in order to store okay so if individual wires are used to for transfer between different registers then that itself will occupy a lot of space so for example here if we have individual lines transfer to all these different registers say for example i have some many register okay so if i say here from here it goes like this match it will be like this okay so match the same register right 
it goes for this register also. Imagine. Same way here. So see how many wires are there. Instead, if you use a multiplexer, which helps in selecting the respective register, and then that information, only that particular register information, because at a time we are going to transfer only one information. Let us imagine now. Okay, from, uh, from one register we are going to send me, then it is better to go for a multiplexer where it selects the register, the particular register, and that data alone will be transferred to a, in a common bus, which in turn will get transferred to another register. For example, here you want you can transfer this to a register. Better to have a common set of wires called buses. A common bus can be constructed using multiplexer. That is what we have just now seen. Below is the bus system for four registers, right? Now, the next one, what we have seen is, first we have seen using multiplexer. The next one is using a three-state bus buffer. So what is that three-state bus buffer? Before that, we have to see a three-state bus buffer. So what is meant by that? See here, we have a connection input and the output will be there. This is not a nor, not gate, okay? It's just an input and output, single input and single output. Now, if you give whatever is input, when I give zero here, immediately it changes, okay? When I give one, immediately it changes, but that is not right. We need some control. So we have additional another input, third, uh, second input. So it consists of two inputs and one output. So what happened, even if I give zero, imagine, imagine we have uh, here output zero, sorry, one, and here the input zero. Now, I want to control this. Normally, when you don't have this, whenever you change zero, immediately the output will be there. It will be reflected. In it. But I don't want that. I want this one to remind that till it is accepted by the another unit. After that only, I want to change this. I want to give this input and which will turn in reflect in output. In which case, we can go for a control. And this we called as a high impedance state. For example, if this is Y will be A. What is Y? This is Y. This will be reflecting the value of A if C equal to 1. 1 means this will be enabled. Okay. So this acts as an enabled signal. So if it is zero, then here also zero one comes when it is one. When this is zero, what happens? This is said to be in a cutoff state. So what happens? Even if I change one, it will not be reflected in the output. Okay, it remains there. That we call and it uh, not only there will be any change, but this whole thing is said to be in a cutoff state. So whatever is that. The, there will be no, uh, uh, no, no, nothing will happen in Y. So the output is said to be a better way. It is said to be in a disconnected from the circuit. Suppose I have so many circuits connected, all are said to be disconnected from this, right? And it and that in other way we call it as an open circuit. So if state one, it, uh, it this has why it is called three state bus. It is because of the input. Input can have one, input can have zero. The same way we have one more control, that is this one, isn't it? So if it is one, this works. But if when it is zero, the total circuit is said to be a cutoff state. So I want to say, for example, I have some uh, circuit like this. Okay. Now I want this circuit to work for some time and this circuit to work based on some decision. In the case, I can go for a, uh, this buffer. Okay, so if it is one, I may want to this. And if it is zero, if it is zero, I don't want this to work. In the case, I, I can make the circuit take a decision so that the output will not go here. The, in, the output of this will not reach that. So like that also, you can use a buffer. That is three state buffer. Now using this, how you can achieve the uh, bus? That is what we are going to see. See here, 
this is using a decoder we can achieve there we have achieved it using a multiplexer but here we can go for a two to four decoder where why it is two to four decoder because it need two uh, select lines okay and one enable because there will be four outputs since there are four outputs you need two inputs in order to differentiate each output okay so now this is connected here you can see each uh, output is connected to a three state buffer okay so here this is a three state buffer a not so if you see the uh, input this is from the register a okay from register a. imagine here also we have four uh, four bit register okay let us call it as a so the first hit is a not which is connected to this we have another register called b and the first bit is connected to this and we have another one called c and it is connected to like this and so on okay so when uh, so how it will select now when s not and s1 when both are zero imagine now one day this will be selected which is nothing but which is connected to a not all the others will not be selected they will be in a zero so that what happened this is in high impedance state high impedance state is open circuit which is cut off from this so no information from b not whatever is input that will not be placed on that so the only data from a not is placed on this line okay this is for a single uh, bit of each register is given if you if i am going to connect all the four then you you must have the same setup for all the four bits right so the output of four buffers are connected together to form a single bus line the control inputs to the buffers determine which of the four normal inputs will communicate so it will decide which among this which uh, a register will communicate in the bus line no more than one buffer may be inactive at any time yes only one among this only one uh, buffer is active all the other buffers are cut off so when enable equal to zero and one more thing here another uh, thing is that enable when this is zero the whole thing is cut off nothing will be whatever it is the select like nothing will be there so the whole unit itself is cut off but when enable is one then depending upon the select like the respective bits will be selected and the respective bit of the registers will be selected okay to construct a common bus for four registers of n bits each using three state buffers we need n circuit so if we have eight inputs okay eight uh, if the register capacity is eight bits then we need eight of this this type of setup okay each group of four buffers receives one significant bit from the four registers each common output produces one of the lines for the common bus for our total of n lines now we'll see a simple example yeah this is a uh, simple example which consists of two registers i already told you the previous case we use the four registers as a small uh, demo uh, uh, register two registers each with four bits are given here okay this is the uh, decoder but this is a one to here as an example we have since we have two registers we use uh, because uh, only two lines are there so the output also will be two so we have only one input is needed to select among this if this is zero the first one will be selected if it is one it will, this will be selected so we need only a one to two decoder right so this is a one to two decoder so four one to decoder because here we have four bits right four bit of information has to be transferred but now let us see here for a not it is given like that for this tri state buffer here now it is connected so like this already we have seen the previous one this is for four bit registers and uh, here since it is four bit register we use four two to four decoder here only two registers are there even if it is four bit here four registers are there right but here we have only two registers so for two registers we need only two bits so in that case that is why we go for one by two decoder now this is a select line and this is enable line right now uh, see how they are connected a not is connected here 
then a1 is given like this and here b1 see how d naught is connected here okay so when s naught is zero let us say we are connecting all these s naught Let's see here. This is it's not it's connected like this. Okay, imagine. Now we have we are giving a zero. Now what happened? The first one will be selected. Okay, in all these things, all they select the first it's not this will be selected, which means this is not selected. Only the respective A is selected. So now the data from the register A is placed on that. Okay, it goes through this. Uh, so here, uh, only the uh, among the registers, A register only selected, and those will be selected. And this line can be given. Okay, as an input for some other register. Okay. It can be placed on some other register. So this is how uh, we use the common bus. We can introduce this as a common bus in order to transfer the data.